It's been uh, a strong day today, uh, led high particularly by the Nasdaq. It's off its highs. It was up uh, three quarters of a percent, just uh, a bit lower than that now. The Dow and the S&P up just less than half a percent. The Russell is uh, lagging uh, and it's just in negative territory. Let's have a look uh, at the sector performance. For most of the day, just staples and financials that were negative, but uh, energy and consumer discretionary have dropped down there uh, as well. Uh, consumer discretionary pretty much flat as is energy. Financials down a bit. Uh, staples at the bottom, healthcare doing well, tech uh, surging uh, 1%, uh, having struggled a couple of days uh, Go, Just going to show you the dollar index as well, which uh, in fact is uh, only lower by about a quarter of a percent. I say only because the likes of the euro and the pound surging over half a percent against the dollar, but the uh, yen is soft against the dollar today. So the index overall uh, down just a quarter of a percent. Bob Bassani, key lessons, uh, takeaways well, from the day. It was three central banks today talking. The ECB, we, we of course, saw the Bank of England. Uh, and, of course, we had uh, Turkey raising rates to 24 percent. That sort of calmed fears. Shy of Argentina's 60 percent. Yes. Uh, nonetheless, it still calmed things down rather dramatically. That helped pre-open. Then we had the CPI out a little bit lighter than expected. Bond yields dropped. Again, relieved some concerns about the Fed getting overly aggressive. Two pieces of good news. You notice we dropped a little after 10 o'clock Eastern time. That's because largely President Trump tweeted out uh, that uh, it, there, we are under no pressure to make a deal with China. He said the Wall Street Journal story was wrong. Nonetheless, we dropped a little, but not terribly much. So those were the three main stories today. I'll tell you the one thing that's important. Slowly, we keep creeping a little bit higher, getting past those, uh, those lows of last week. The important thing here is new highs expanding a little bit today. We've been waiting for this. We've been sitting near new highs, but not a lot of individual stock highs, index highs. So we have Humana, Merck, Honeywell, Microsoft, Pfizer. Pfizer's been on the new high list repeatedly, and so is Microsoft. Uh, nice to see Humana there. Nice to see Honeywell in there. Uh, we've probably got 150 stocks, uh, 160 stocks at the New York Stock Exchange. I start really getting impressed, if you want a threshold, when we get about 300 or so at the NYSC. But it's getting better. But, and, and good to see tech, strong rebound today, Yeah, up over 1%. After the yesterday's debacle, remember, of course, uh, we had semiconductor capital equipment stocks on a downgrade from one of the big brokerage firms. They all went down. We had Lamb Research at a 52-week low. So that's nice to see a little bit of bounce. But I, I'd still say tech right now is it's down, not out, but it can go either way. I don't know if we can bring up uh, WTI oil prices as well, because as I mentioned, energy sector on the S&P just dropped into negative territory as we uh, approach the close. Oil prices down about 2% today. They then had a good run earlier in the week, partly because of the hurricane. Partly because just of the pulling hurricane, back a bit today. the whole issue in Iran, that moved it. Then we were over $70. Energy stocks had moved up earlier in the week, a bit flatter today. But overall, still a very good outcome. We had 3 to 1 advancing to declining stocks throughout a good part of the day. That's going to really move the market forward. Whenever you get that kind of move, here we do a little bit better there goes the bell uh, we're up 140 points on the dow so just a fractional leg up as we've approached the close